Hello, welcome to BBC World News. Beijing has criticized a speech from Taiwan's president, saying it incited confrontation and distorted facts. In her address on Taiwan's National Day, President Tsai Ing-wen said the island will continue to bolster its defenses so no one can force it to accept the path of reunification that Beijing is laying down. Tension between the two sides has heightened in recent weeks. This report from Mark Lobel. Taiwan's National Day celebrations, a visual show of defiance after rising tensions with China, which views the island as a breakaway province. Taiwan disagrees with a pledge to defend its sovereignty and democracy. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen said she was hoping for an easing of relations and would not act rashly, but insisted Taiwanese people would not bow to pressure. Tensions have been rising after around a record 150 Chinese warplanes made incursions into Taiwan's air defense zone, including jets, bombers and spy planes, in just four days. On Saturday, China marked the 110th anniversary of a 1911 revolution that saw the last Chinese imperial dynasty toppled. China's president said reunification with Taiwan should be achieved adding Chinese people had a glorious tradition of opposing separatism. National reunification by peaceful means best serves the interests of the Chinese nation as a whole, which includes our compatriots in Taiwan. The Taiwan question is an internal matter for China. There should be no outside interference. Far from an internal matter, this dispute has once again spilled out onto the global stage. Beijing seems to think that right now is a moment when it needs to rattle its saber and threaten Taiwan even more. The United States, Japan and the United Kingdom, of course, recently completed some naval exercises with four aircraft carriers in waters proximate to Taiwan. And I think some of what China is doing is trying to show that it too has a capacity to threaten Taiwan. Two competing visions between the inevitability of unification and Taiwan's vision that it will not be forced down a path it does not want to take. Mark Lobel, BBC News. I got more analysis from our China correspondent John Sudworth, who is in Taiwan. Well, I think it's unlikely, Philippa, that uh, Tsai Ing-wen's address today was a direct response word for word with what Xi Jinping said yesterday. Her remarks would have been planned long in advance. They were trailed in advance. But as you say, China uh, has reacted. This clearly is uh, China pushing back. Um, you know, it shows you just how far we've come, I think, from the era just a decade or so ago when the two sides looked to at uh, least potentially uh, be able to find a kind of compromise, putting aside their differences, uh, essentially uh, kicking the, 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 the vexed question of exactly what Taiwan was down the line and just strengthening business ties. President Tsai today was making it very clear that that era is over because of the direction that China is taking. It is growing increasingly authoritarian. She said she cited what's happened in Hong Kong as a warning to the people of Taiwan. And she is saying that it is uh, uh, Taiwan's uh, uh, democracy, its unique identity that needs emphasizing. And this was really an appeal to allies, to allies in the region like Japan, but also, of course, further afield and in particular, an appeal to Washington. Is the prospect of forced reunification taken seriously there, John? Is it something people talk about? I don't think it's a, a, a daily preoccupation. Uh, you know, th this is a, a city today that witnessed a National Day celebration uh, with uh, military jets uh, involved in the fly past uh, and a message that Taiwan will have to defend itself. So it, it, it is there front and center. Uh, certainly of Tsai Ing-wen's messaging and of this administration in general. Uh, but there is you know, no sense of alarm, uh, no panic. Um, but on the other hand, I think there is clearly a feeling that things are shifting. There is a young generation here in Taiwan uh, who feel as far apart and as distant from the kind of vision 
of, of politics and values that Beijing offer as, as Taiwan has ever been. And of course, the trouble with that is there's a, you know, that in itself uh, only emphasizes to Beijing that time is running out. Um, so I think, uh, although there is no sense of panic or alarm, there is certainly no doubt um, when you look at that, those politics um, that people uh, underneath it all will be concerned. And don't forget Tsai Ing-wen won her, her re-election last year on that message that uh, Taiwan needs to push back on the threat from Beijing. And that was front and center of her speech today.